guys today we're back um, reviewing another device that I just received um, I've been waiting for that device for far too long now but I finally got it now this is a 150 watt device that comes from vape Connex. it's a brand new company on the market and they have had this interesting device um, and today I'm bringing its review for you so first thing you notice off the bat is the quality packaging of that device it comes in a very nice smooth with sort of a shiny vape connex over here this is the gray device and it's named VTM and that's a 150 watt device and this is the sticker of authenticity and this is where you scan your QR code and get to check if that device is authentic or not looking at the packaging again packaging is excellent and that's the back side 150 watts device includes the user manually some screwdriver and a copper electrode four of them um, we get to that four magnets and uses an OLED screen with a dual 18650 and the four magnets now on the other side same thing over again and there you go. So you slide that out, and again you get the same glossy vape connex. I've been using this device for close to two weeks now, and I gotta say it's an impressive device. Now, once you open the package, you get the device itself, and this material. Take the device out and you have your manual how to use it we we'll get into that and you get one more bag of goodies and that includes your screwdriver, the pins for the 510, and those here. strong magnets. So, that's all about the packaging. Nothing else under there. That the packaging is A1, I would say. Now, looking into that beauty of a device. Now, I apologize for the smears, but I've been using that. So, this is an aluminum with those rounded edges. You get a big fire button, the up and down wattage, and the OLED screen over here. You get the 150 watts logo nothing else on the end you get your venting holes and up top you got your 510 connection with the slotted if your Atti takes the air from down there now to open up this device you simply grab into that part push it down and protrudes out a bit take it out. I must say that the magnets are quite strong. Of course the device doesn't come with batteries but those are mine and this device runs the batteries in series. Clean device. I will be posting another video where I open this one to see the wiring inside. All you get to do to have is one chip under here with the wiring going up to the 510 and going to the batteries. It's a very clean device from in there. Now, on to the features of this thing. Now, this device has got two interesting features to it. First, it's got ramp up of the power. So, if you set one to, if you set it to a 50 watt, it won't straight away fire to the 50, but it would ramp up to that power and get there. Now, the 
good thing about this is that when your cottons get dry, it tends to you tend to feel, to taste a bit of the dry hit first before you actually get a, a full one. So, in essence, that protects you from that. One very other cool device is, or a very other sorry cool function is, is that when you put an atty in there, it will read the uh, the settings, uh, or sorry, we read the ohms, and it will give you all the rec recommended settings for it, and that's another cool feature. Now, to power on the device, it's simply five clicks, and there you go, the logo, and then it goes check atomizer, and here's your screen. I can go up. It goes a point one increments all the way to 10 and then starts jumping and up and down. Quite the same for both. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Nice clicky buttons if you might hear them. Check atomizer. Now if I go and put ahead an atomizer in there, it's just going to read the watts. But I need to show you when does it do that screen of the recommendation. So, five clicks to turn off the device, system off. There's not many options in there anyway, it's just those. Um, it only shows that during the startup. So let me go and put in my Mephisto on here. and if you click on that five times it will open up and that menu see resistance wattage from 36 to 44 it just takes a, um, a seconds to show it but again you get this battery and then the suggested wattage for that specific resistance. Now that device fires like a beast. Like seriously. I've got my Mephisto in there. The cottons might need a bit of saturation but I'll show you in a bit. That's at 50 watts. That is, um, I've got a, um, a dual parallel coil in there, and that is at 50 watts. Only 50 watts. Now take that more, and you get the point. Let's do it up to 75. It's just, it's really hard. And that's what I like about that device. It's simple, it's straight to the point, and it just works. So I'd like to set it back to 50. That is my recommended, well, not recommended basically, but that's my speed for doing. Sorry, okay. So, what is the things that I like about that device? That device is basically a beautiful device looking. Holding it in your hand, it's not too big, it's not too small. It just, I like heavy stuff, so it's a bit heavy, not, not too much heavy, but it's aluminum anyway, it can't weigh much. Um, but it's really nice to hold in your hand. Um, the design is awesome, especially when I'm looking at it sitting there with that slanted um, parts over here. Makes it look really elegant. And the quality of the mod is just seriously A1. Um, as for feature wise of the chip, 
there is no much features but there is this one ramping thing that I actually forgot to show you now if you look I had it at 50 and if I press the button see it goes 23 47 and then 50 watts and it would do that with everything this is where it minimizes the dry hits um, and um, basically provides a nice feature one other thing I've noticed is that when the cotton gets dry it wouldn't really burn it too much and it would, you'd see it's just um, flipping the wattages but that could be just me there's no official word on that but that's what I've noticed so far. The ramp up is extremely good because it has minimized my dry hits tremendously because I can when the cotton gets dry and I'm vaping 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 on it and it gets dry I can get a slight taste of it before even getting the full dry hit so I stop and it's it's all good. Um, one of the things that I see also with this when I recharge those batteries I don't get one battery draining more than the other which is good like um, like most of the um, mechanical mods out there or the other mods that use a series as well um, so yeah basically having that device is, is a beautiful device in every way now what I wish it had is that pin that's that's where they cheaped on and to be honest I wouldn't say that I hate that so much because when I screw on the Addy I can make it sit a bit far from the base it doesn't sit flush. I can make it sit flush or I cannot make it sit flush but I don't want to make it sit flush on here not to scratch that beautiful device but hey this is 2015 and they should have included an adjustable pin now I would probably be modding this and removing that and putting in an adjustable pin but it should have come out of the bat. Other than that, that's my only complaint about that device because if you tell me USB charging, I don't care about USB charging because those are dual batteries. To recharge there on a 1 amp, that would take close to 7 hours of charging so I'd rather use my external charger to charge those batteries. Apart from that, this is the device. That device retails from anywhere between 80 and 100 something. That's what I found and was this one crazy seller on eBay selling it for $500. <laughs> but that's the original device for it. Uh, sorry, the original price for it. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend that mod given that it is a beauty on the outside and a real, real um, hard-hitting device um, so yeah hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions about that um, and till next time thank you